What should we do? Where should we go? I don't know. We should go and do a little day trip. But where? I'll follow him. Part three sees us descending back down to where Michael left his forerunner. Big drop now, big drop. Left, left, left. We're basically going to be going back out the same way we came in, so driving everything in reverse. I'm only doing this until you're ready to go, Mick. Yeah, I don't know if he's ready. Yeah, turn it in. Turn it in. Yeah, he's fine. I used to actually run my tyre when I had the 7. I used to run my tyre on that. He can't see it because he's got wardrobe mirrors on the side door. <laughs> Have a look at him. You're right, just keep coming. On it. A little bit right hand down. Right hand down. Okay, up. Coming down, brakes. Now okay, use that rock on your right, a little bit right, a little bit right. Beautiful. Nice. Slow. Watch your tray. You're right. Whoa, you hit it. Uh -huh, I said watch it. That's a long tray. <laughs> you good now? Put your wheel in this big ollie. No. What? Well, you want to see? I want to see it flex. All right. We're good. See, he's easy. He's easy. Okay, straighten up. Straighten up. How's that? Keep coming. Flex is good. eh? so soft. And it holds tight. That's all you want. Whoa. You're right. I'd be painting them silver bits black though. Of course you would. <laughs> what, what, not orange? <laughs> no, orange that, or that's something I don't want to stick out, but. A bit of <laughs> Is that what it took? A packet of chips and you've let the bullet go? <laughs> oh, I'm not happy, kids. Look at him. He's going, going, going. He's driving it. You're not going to get it up here. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, listen to the audience. So we've got a very important run in a few days time. Still a lot to do to get Bullet on the trailer. Both shafts and some form of cross member that's not going to impede on that front tail shaft. All right, back at the paint shop and I've got both boys work on display here. Adam's put in these little triangle braces on the cross member after I hacked out all that middle section. So we'll give it an orange. And then Brian's awesome front custom shaft what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to use the clear coat on that back section since he's done such a nice job on it. It's something I sometimes do. The chrome ollie one on the back of the Forerunner has been done in the clear coat. But look at that, so it stays that thickness now all the way. So there's no interruption from that hitting anything on the cross member. You're not going to see much of that because it's mainly all under this cross member anyway. Thanks, an awesome job to both of you. I'll be doing a video on how Brian actually fabricated that tail shaft end. All that work, and it's not going to work. So, the flange here is touching, which isn't a big deal. I can clearance that, that's not the problem. This isn't made for a dual transfer case, so it's not made for the tail shaft to be coming from so far back. So the angle, when it flexes, obviously, the diff comes down so we've got this clearance issue here which I could cut a little bit out but then if you see back there it's got to be clearanced way back to here it's not going to happen I feel that that's going to take way too much strength out so the decision now is whether we put the stock one on and go on the run and just not do anything silly back to the action here as I nearly get caught out The brain won't stop turning over. Plan D or E, I'm not sure what I'm up to. But what if we weld a bit of flat plate to the back of that and then do our triangles? This could be an idea to use the stock cross member. And then drill a hole, I've got that template, so no, that's the front case, that's the rear case. Drill a hole in the rear one and pick it up as well. Now I reckon most normal people would have just given in by now and said no i'm not coming on that run steve yeah but i got a problem so yeah that idea that i just showed you on the floor i reckon it could work definitely the passenger side you'd have a big brace back to that uh, on the driver's side you'd have to be careful because of that huge multi-fit flange that we've got there but where we do have a winner now is we've got plenty more clearance on that shaft there so it's at least 13 mil smaller in diameter overall this shaft than the one that was just touching last time all right this is the new plan a bit of eight mil plate um i've got this mocked up we're going to weld it so that it's flat with that factory cross member picks up the hole i'll drill four holes we'll gus at the bottom and um, it'll pick up some weight from the second case so that'll be our temporary cross member sorted Bring that beautiful forerunner up, Michael. Michael's got a V6 Commodore motor in this. We're assuming it's got 488 diff gears too. Keep going, keep going. Oh, she's got too much. 
conclude this video please join us in the next video where we see the remaining climbs out also will bullet make it onto the trailer as always Thanks for watching.